Hi, I'm Kim. Welcome back to another video. Well, it seems like only a couple of days ago I was talking about having to use a capture card to get live view working while I'm tethering and my camera was in an awkward position. Uh, kind of suggesting that Capture One would be bringing out live view. And who knows, a couple of days later, they did bring out an update to their app, which enabled live view. So let's have a quick look. Uh, I've only just downloaded this. So I've been playing with it uh, a little bit just before I shot this video, because it's kind of an interest for me. It's something I have been asking them to do since I pretty much got involved with the alpha and beta versions of this app as one of the testers. So it's been pretty great to see it uh, come almost fully complete into uh, a production app, which I think is really good. Um, I've ditched my laptop. I'm now just using my iPad when I'm working. So everything gets tethered into this. Uh, I still need to edit on my computer when I need to do a little bit more editing than just the basics because you've got layers and other things going on there. But uh, yeah, definitely as a starting place, this is an amazing tool to have. Um, the iPad app itself, um, it, it's been called a game changer when I'm out in location shooting commercials because I can wear it on a strap uh, and shoot to it and I've got production people holding it and checking the images out in real time. And it really is a brilliant way to work. So I'm so happy they did this. Just the mobility of it is fantastic. So if you're in that situation and you haven't tried it, you really need to. It's a really good app. But anyway, live view, let's see how it works. So I've opened Capture One up and you can see you get a basic screen here. I'm just going to get rid of that to give more space. Down here, we have a new thing called camera controls. So I can just tap that up. And this is the shot I've just taken of what's in here. I'll show you that now. Um, just threw a few bits and pieces in against the wall here just to have something to photograph. These are all your camera controls. And you can go in and you can change them on the fly, do whatever you want. Uh, everything is fully changeable there. And obviously, you have all your image adjustment tools there as well. Down here, you've got a couple of new options. Uh, you can now choose RAW only if you want to save RAW only or RAW and JPEG or JPEG only or off if you just want to save to the card for some reason. Um, it's showing me here I've got RAW opened up. So that's the image quality from the camera itself. And uh, we also have a live little button here, which is quite cool, which is just below the shoot button. So if I tap the live button, I've got this tiny little pop up window here with a close and a full screen button on it. So if I tap full screen, I have live view. I mean, there it is. I mean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Live view, wow. So there's a few extras on this screen uh, as well. We've got camera focus settings. We have a grid view. It is just a nine square grid at the moment. I don't know if that's gonna change. Uh, holding it doesn't seem to do anything and I didn't see anything in the settings to change it, but it might come along, it might not. I mean, it's just handy to have, uh, at least for straight lines. Let me just turn that off because I don't really use grids. Uh, we have our autofocus settings here and we have a fit, which doesn't mean you get to work out, it means you get to zoom in uh, a little bit to see what you're doing. Then you can kind of drag your window about till you can get to what you want to focus on here, which is there. And I might just zoom that in a bit more just so we can really see it. Um, it does go a little bit dark when you do that for some reason. There we go. So yeah, let's have a look. And I hit that and the focus comes further away, although I'm putting this part of the image. And to me, in my head, they're the opposite way around. The near, I think, should be closer to the camera and the far should be pointing further away down the image, but that's just me. I don't know, people make these decisions above my pay grade. Not that I get paid for helping as a beta tester, of course. But uh, yeah, we can see here, you can fine tune the adjustments and it moves in real time. So if you really wanted to get into some fine detail, but bear in mind that with a mirrorless camera, it's always going to have its aperture fully open. So this is the 80mm 1.7. So that's going to be 1.7, uh, which gives quite a thin depth of field at this distance. Um, I'm shooting at f5.6 just to give a little bit of depth of field so I can cover most of the badge at that uh, distance. So uh, let's get back out of that and go into camera controls. And there's the shot in. That's the previous one I did. And that's that one in. So just to see some difference, what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll just turn that badge around a bit so we'll know we've made a difference to it. And I'll take another photograph. There we go. I mean, it's pretty straightforward to use. I just think the functionality you're now having live view fully built into this. And it's almost perfect. As you can see, there was one or two little niggles which they need to art out. Obviously, uh, these are faults which have to go back after testing. So uh, looking forward for the next update when it's absolutely perfect, right? Uh, anyway, there's live view. Go check it out. You don't need your capture card anymore. Uh, I'm still going to use my capture card for other things when I want a remote uh, screen or if I want to screen record my camera, if I'm doing anything like that, I can use those apps for that. Uh, but yeah, happy days. See you later. Bye.